Hey guys, JL3Legend here, and today I'm going to show you how to record with your Elgato Capture Card for the GameCube. Now, of course, you're going to want to turn the GameCube on, have everything ready to go. So, we'll come here to your Capture Card, Game Capture HD, and there's a few important things here. You are still going to have to have your HDMI out plugged in, and you're going to have that, you're going to have, to have that ran into your TV HDMI port. You will obviously have this cable, the one that runs into the computer. So, pretty basic stuff. You're going to need, I would assume you'll call this the composite adapter. Eh, it doesn't need a fancy name. You have it plugged in, and you need to plug in your GameCube. And with the flash on, it's kind of hard to tell. This will be the setup you use. The yellow for the video into this red wire coming out of the little thing here. And then your white and your red need to be plugged into these. Bring it out. Obviously the, the white and red, excuse me for a second while I plug this back in. A little difficult to hold a camera and put this back in here. So give me just a second. Okay. So you've got that all plugged in. Everything's in. And you'll need to have the TV. As you can see, I don't have all the settings there, so it's at no signal. You'll need to have your TV on the HDMI channel. So you'll then come over here to the computer you have it hooked up on, which I stream barbarically off of a fucking laptop here. And there's a couple settings you need to change to get the picture. <clears throat> so you'll come up here. Sorry if you can't see it very well. To the Game Capture HD. And there's going to be... Uh, it says show device settings. Sorry about the flash. It's just really dark in here. And then this box will come up. So you'll need to go and change the input device. And you will want to change this to other. Now it is very important to see the settings that I have here. And as you can see the picture came up. Your video input needs to be set to composite. And... I don't know if it does it automatically or not, but your audio input will go to analog audio. Now, something to keep in mind, you may want to check off, allow 60 frames per second so that there's not a mark in the box. It just runs a little smoother in my opinion. So, we'll go ahead, hit OK, and we've got a picture here. And as you can see, it's also up on the TV. So, it's that simple. I believe this is uh, this setup will work for anything composite. I haven't double checked with any of the other systems yet, but I would imagine it would run pretty much the same. So, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to the channel to see more of my content. Thank you, and have a great day.